Dr. David Waldman is an allergy and asthma specialist affiliated with Eisenhower Medical Center. When I first got into allergy immunology, immunology was the key buzzword. It was the pre-AIDS era, and anybody with immune deficiency disease was born that way, Bubble Boy being the most famous of those cases. So when I first came to, uh, the, to Eisenhower Medical Center to give a lecture, as invited by Larry Cohn, Dr. Cohn, who was a great immunologist, we were talking about IV gamma globulin and new treatments, and he said, you're not leaving this place. We're going to make you head of the allergy immunology department. When I first moved here, it was obvious that allergy was probably worse in the desert than any other place that I had ever practiced in. And that's because golf is our main industry. So I've been doing yearly pollen counts. People might have seen it in the, in the desert sun over the last 30 years. And in the late 70s, when I first came out, the total yearly pollen count was 5,000. Now it's 21,000. And the main reason for the increase is strictly population growth. We have more houses, we plant more lawns, we plant more trees, we plant more golf courses and parks. And we change the natural desert environment so there's many more pollens in the year each year. The real big difference between allergy and immunology is people with immune defects can't fight germs. They have trouble with antibodies against the germs, and as a result, they're sick all the time. People with allergies actually have too heightened an immunity. They start fighting things that don't need fighting in the first place. So on one hand, on the immune side, we have to find ways to raise their immune system. And in people with allergies, we have to find ways to lower their immune system.